Hi guys, welcome to Gold Mac. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to go through and show you a few of these Gold Seeker products and really demonstrate the strength and durability of them. I've been using them for months and months now. You may have seen the videos with me using the sound shell, my quick easy access panel, the quick fit coil adapter, which you can see I've been rubbing on the ground and over rocks and stuff for months and months. So it's so durable and I really, really enjoy these products and I've found that they seem to be lasting and lasting. But one thing I really wanted to demonstrate today was just how strong these are. Because they're made out of nylon, they're a lot tougher than other 3D printed parts. So it's just ugh, really, really good. They've got these carbon fiber shafts. Ugh, really tough nylon ends to them. They're really, really good. It's, they seem to hold up to us whatever damage you want to throw at them, which is really, really handy. Now, this is a lot more damage and effort that I'm putting into it than you'll ever experience while you're actually out in the field and with your sound shell and stuff on the side of your machine. It's never going to fold up like this, but it's just a really good example of how tough some of this stuff can really be. So you see these little lugs that just push into the side of your machine? You can just push on them and twist it up, bend it around, and it just stays the same shape. It's not just gonna break the first time you bump your machine or anything like that. And it's the same with the kickstand. These legs, you can squeeze in between your hands hard as I can, and it's not going anywhere. They're just really really reliable really light and it makes things super super easy now on my machine as i said there's lots of wear and use marks but everything is just in perfect condition it's really really handy so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to grab a few of these things and i'm just going to give them a little bit of extreme pressure to see whether they can handle all conditions but they are tough some people get scared about buying 3d printed parts especially when you're outdoors using a metal detector but with all this gold seeker stuff there really is nothing to worry about so i'll go through and show you again a little bit of extreme damage now start with the sound shell <laughs> it's just pushing it into the ground now, you're never gonna experience damage like that. Look at that, completely fine. A Little bit dirty, but nothing's going wrong with it. This stuff just holds up. Nothing's gonna happen to that sound shell. All right, we got this end of the swing arm. Look, that grip where it touches on is still working fine. Even the bolt, which I thought the bolt would have gone by now. And we'll go to the middle bit. So these nylon fittings that screw together. Ugh, I've just chipped off a little bit when it's come to me pick. But even saying that, look at that. Still working. Just a little bit of cosmetic damage there. And you're never ever going to take that to that extreme yourself. But amazing products. Now I'm going to concentrate on the kickstand. I'm just going to take this little bolt out so we can really get into it. So you can see that you can just twist this stuff around and holds its shape fine. Same with the legs. But we'll see how it holds up. Them into the ground. And see, even this really flexible piece, it just stays fine. It's so impressive. Same with the legs. Bit of a rock test. Just smushing it into the ground. And while we're here, we'll get the pick onto it. 
Now, I'm actually surprised none of these are getting any damage. Even with that, look, bit of dirt. More than anything, I'm just putting a bit of clay into the Gold Seeker logo. That's amazing. So that was a bit of fun. Now, being that extreme with any of those items is never gonna happen. If you're being that wild, that close to your really expensive metal detector, things are going bad. But it was just a really good example, even with that swing arm, even when I was whacking it with me pick and stomping on it and that, it only got a little crack on it and it's still functional. It'll still work just as you intended. And there's no way, as I said, you're gonna be doing that damage so close to your machine things like that and just look at the the wear over the the months and months I'm really really impressed with all this stuff and same thing even the little bits on the the sound shell the little lugs and stuff like that that stuff's going to be durable time and time again so if you ever worried about any of the 3d printed products just make sure you go to gold seeker they're using this brilliant nylon stuff they've got a really good range of SDC products there's no way you will be disappointed. It's really, really good stuff. I can't recommend them anymore. And you'll see in coming videos, I'm always using the little sound shell, my quick access panel, and also my coil adapters. So you'll see more of that coming up in following videos. But thank you again. Thanks for watching. I'm glad you liked it. And thanks to Gold Seeker for supplying a few products for me to review as well. I'll see you guys next time.